Hello, I'm Kathleen Capcara from Trinity Church in Towson, and I'm here today to talk about the prophet Ezekiel. This lesson comes from volume six of the Complete Guide to Godly Play by Jerome Berryman. It's published by Church Publishing. But to hear this story, which has some very strange parts to it, we need to be ready. And one way that we can get ready to listen is to listen to the sound of this singing bowl. I am going to strike it, and when you can no longer hear it, or when I can no longer hear it, then I will be ready to start the story. So this story is really about the visions of the prophet Ezekiel. It's not about Ezekiel, the prophet's whole life. It's about when he found out he was going to be a prophet and some of the visions that he had. But what is a prophet? Well, a prophet is somebody who comes so close to God that they know what God wants them to do and to say, and they do it. Ezekiel was studying to be a priest in the temple in Jerusalem, but then many of God's people were taken into exile in Babylon. Ezekiel was in exile with them. They could not go home. When the people of God gathered to worship God in this strange land in Babylon, they went to the river. They didn't know if God would find them in this strange place, and so they faced toward Jerusalem, where they knew that God lived. Well, one day, Ezekiel was worshiping God at the river with the other people, and he suddenly had a vision. Ezekiel saw a storm coming, and in the clouds, he saw four creatures. The creatures kind of looked like people, but they had enormous wings. And they had four faces. Each of the four creatures had four faces, all of different animals. And when they moved their wings, it sounded like thunder. Well, the creatures also had wheels within wheels, and the wheels seemed to be alive. We don't know what they really looked like, but I have a picture of the wings and the wheels. When Ezekiel looked up, he saw God on a throne being carried by these four creatures. And Ezekiel was so amazed and afraid that he fell flat on his face. And then God spoke to Ezekiel. God said, stand up and I will speak with you. And the Spirit of the Lord entered into Ezekiel, and he stood on his feet. And then God said, Eat this scroll, so that my words may live within you. And so Ezekiel ate the scroll, and to him it tasted sweet as honey. And that was when Ezekiel knew that he was going to be a prophet for God. Now Ezekiel had many visions, more than 50 but I'm only going to talk about some of them here. Many of his visions were about the destruction of Jerusalem and the temple, but later the visions were about hope for a new Jerusalem. One, of the, one time when Ezekiel had a vision, God told Ezekiel to take a brick, and while the clay was still wet, Ezekiel was to draw a map of the city of Jerusalem on the brick. And Ezekiel did, and he put the brick where everyone could see it. And then Ezekiel surrounded the brick with toy soldiers. He surrounded the brick with toy soldiers so that people would know God was saying that the city of Jerusalem would be attacked again by the Babylonians. There were many more messages of destruction, and all of them came true. The city was left in crumbles. But then, 
God's message changed to a message of hope for the people. One time, Ezekiel told the people that there were shepherds who were not like the good shepherd. There were shepherds who were not even like the ordinary shepherd. They were bad shepherds. But God would be a good shepherd to rescue the people from the bad shepherds. God said, I myself will be a shepherd and will bring the people home. Another message of hope that Ezekiel got and spoke to the people was he took some water and told the people that God would sprinkle water on them to wash them clean and new when they were in the new Jerusalem. A new heart I will put in you, God said, and a new spirit will be in, within you. And yet another time, God showed Ezekiel a pile of dry bones. God said to Ezekiel, I will breathe life into these bones, just as I will breathe life into the people, and they will come alive again. My word will be within them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. Ezekiel died while the people were still in exile. He saw the destruction of his beautiful and beloved city, but he also had great visions of a new Jerusalem where people would live in contentment and be together in their land, which would be called God is There. Now I wonder, what part of this story, what part of these visions of Ezekiel you like the best? I wonder if there's part of these visions that are about you. Have you ever felt washed clean and new again? Have you ever felt a shepherd show you the way home? I wonder if there's part of the story we could leave out or if there's part of the story we might want to add. I wonder what you wonder about this story. I'm going to tell you a couple of things I wonder. I wonder how Ezekiel knew it was God who was talking to Ezekiel. I wonder if Ezekiel thought God was crazy when God told Ezekiel to eat a scroll. I wonder if the people that Ezekiel spoke God's word to thought Ezekiel was a little bit crazy. I wonder if the people listened to Ezekiel and knew that he was speaking God's word. I wonder if it's hard for you to listen to God's word sometimes. Next time, we're going to talk about another prophet, the prophet Elijah. God bless you and be with you this week.